Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, I don't know if you can see this very well. I am going to show you how to make these, if I can catch the light on it, on this. Now, when I did, this is my new blanket loom and it was made for me by a man called Gilbert Hill. His name, he gets called Gil and his wife Rose is in my craft group and I got one of these, <laughs> I got one of these to try. Now when I did the tutorial for this I dropped it on the floor so I need to be very careful that I don't do that. When one of my subscribers saw the tutorial she says to me, she put a comment on and saying that's a big bow maker. <laughs> you know something, it actually it is because on some it isn't, but it can be. <laughs> now, on some of my other tutorials, I actually use what's called a peg loom as a bow maker. Now, I'm going to show you this one. I did this one in black ribbon. Now, I'm going to show you how you can actually do these great big things like this to go on your blankets. And you can actually make it on your actual blanket frame. As long as it's not got nails so it comes sliding off easy. So I don't even know if Rose Hill even thought about this. So watch this, Rose Hill and Susan Lloyd. I know Susan's got one of these frames. Her brother made hers. Now, I will put a little link to Rose Hill's selling pages where you can buy these new type peg looms. I know these peg looms have been around for a long time. But I haven't seen them being used for making blankets before and I love this. You should just watch the other tutorial. Now it doesn't matter what colour of ribbon you use, the principle is the same to get this big bow like this. I'm going to stick that in there. Now all you need to do is get your ribbon and then just hold it behind your peg. Okay, so we're going to go so go behind your peg that we're going to use and move that out of the way. Now we're just going to work in the figure eight and I'm going to put four onto here, okay? So go behind all the pegs, just ignore all these three. Go in front of the peg here and to the back. Then bring it around to this one and go around to the back again. That's one. Go around in a figure eight, around the front, around the back, to that one, and back to the front. That's two. Push it down, do it gently though. The next one, the same again, around the front, around the back of that one. Three and around again and around the front for that one and just squish it down. I'm going to change that, I'm going to put another one on and around again, around the front of that one and through the back. So we'll go through into the back. And with this short end that you have, bring that around to the front. You can fold your ribbon in half to make it look neater. It's up to you, or you can leave it flat. Bring it round to the front, and what you're going to do is you're going to push it underneath the very bottom. Push it right through. To the other side. So what you're going to do is swap your hands over to your short ends on this side and meet what I call the little thing. Just hold, this is your short end, so just hold your long end like this, put this end up so it looks like a little letter D. And then put it through the hole. Then what you're going to do is swap your hands back like this, and you're going to fold 
Okay, we're going to spray the paint. Do this detail back and forward like this, calculating the length of the way, the length of the way, and that will take in that not really. And then just carefully slide it up off your face. It's like a sticky bow and you just need to and then just do your roots home like that. And that you go your fancy bow for your blanket. Now all you need to do now is put your two pieces of ribbon together. I'll show you how to cut perfect first year to cut the point from the ribbon. Now I'm sorry I don't have any wider white ribbon or a different colour that you can see there. So fold it in half and with the fold on this side and your openings of your ribbon are on this side. Just fold the ribbon in half like that. Get a good sharp pair of scissors and cut at an angle from your thumb to your fingers, from the front of your thumb to your knuckle over here. So put your scissors on at an angle like this and cut straight down like that. And that gives you perfect tail on the bottom of your ribbon. And there you go, you've got a nice, great big bow for your blanket. Now what I'll do is, I'll keep the black away. I'm going to show you the same thing in the wired pink. It's going to work the same way. I'll unravel some of it first. Now wider ribbon always makes them fold better. So we've got the wire ribbon. So what we'll do is it's nice and squishy so we can get more on. So hold it here like we did before and we're going to use five pegs. So we're going to go around that left that right peg here to the back. I'm going to go around this one on the left and then go back to the back and go around in a figure eight on that one on that one back to the back that's two you can push it right down with this one and around And around. Make sure you try and keep it straight before you squash it down. So when it gets squashed down, it's getting squashed down straight. It's not getting squashed down or bent. Squish up one down. So again, nice and flat around this here. Now this ribbon was only 99 pence in the 99 pence shop. So you can make these ribbons because they're such a really cheap, you can make these four as big as you want. So I think I've got four on now. I'm going to be ambitious and do another two. We'll do six. It's quite nice and squishy. I'm just leave it at the same 99 pence. I know somebody might say something about, oh, it's not worth making anything. But it's going to make a beautiful bow anyway for less than a pound. So around once more. Around once more. Around once more. 
Now because of the wire, I can actually just give it a little cut just now. So there we go. Now this is a rocking end, so we'll keep this end to here. This is a little short to the end. Now I'm going to expose it to So just bring it round into the middle and tuck it right underneath the bottom. Pull it through and bring it through. And yeah, now swap the hands over. Bring that around on that one. Use this one and make that little V shape. So where we were, this was the one we were winding with, and this was just my end. So I'm going to swap hands over like this. Make a little loop like that, and turn that into a little V shape. So this end, through that end, put them back into the right hand, and then just wiggle it, see so right to left, maybe a little bit more difficult because there's sequence on this one, wiggle it back and forward, and then carefully take it off, and then open up all the little sections. I think it's better with this type of wire as well. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Now these make beautiful hair bows as well. We'll just straighten this side out as well. Just stick on this side as well. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Three. Four, five, and six. There we are. And that down there is the end. Mm. Now you can, if you want, just put them in a little diagonal. If you want your little fish tail, just take your ribbon. Take your ribbon. Fold it in half and from the folded side cut at an angle towards your knuckles and that gives you that little fish tail and the same with this side. Fold it in half. Cut in a diagonal. Make sure your little fish do. There you go. So there's two beautiful ribbons made. <laughs> so make your blanket and have your ribbon ready and then make your <laughs> and then make your bow on the for on the top of it. Look at that, that's really pretty. I really like that one. I'll be showing you that. There we go. I like that. Well, just after you've done your blanket, then keep it out and then just make yourself a bowl to go with your blanket. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you all again the next time for the next tutorial. So happy crafting and goodbye.